Greetings. This week, we have been pondering on the theme, Still, I will praise Him. That means no matter what we're going through, no matter what situation we find ourselves in, we still praise our God because He is God, because His Word is settled, His Word is true, His promises are true, because He's a God who can give beauty or ashes. When we praise Him, it's an expression of our faith in God. When we praise Him, we displace the spirit of heaviness. When we praise Him, it's a testimony to those around us. They are encouraged, they are strengthened. Today, I want to just place this before you. That when we praise God, it stops the enemy. Psalm 8 and verse 2, out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength because of your enemies that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. And the Lord Jesus quoted this verse in Matthew 21. He used the word praise. Out of the mouth of infants, you ordain praise that you might silence the enemy and the avenger. You know, when you and I praise God, it silences the enemy. It stops the enemy. Now we don't know how that happens, but the Bible says that's what happens. When you and I praise him, you see, the enemy may have unleashed his worst at you or me. It might be what the Bible calls in Ephesians 6, the evil day when everything seems to be crashing in and the enemy has come in like a flood trying to unleash all his fiery darts all at the same time. And regardless of how intense the battle might be, regardless of how difficult the circumstances might be, regardless of how, you know, we can't figure this out, we can't understand it, we don't have answers to the questions that are before us. And yet, when we open our mouth with praise, the Bible says, it silences the enemy. The enemy has nothing more to say, nothing more to do. It stops him in his tracks. In fact, in Psalm 149, it talks about the high praises of God in the mouth of God's people. And it says there that it's like binding the kings with chains and the nobles with fetters and executes the written judgment on them. So somehow praise is an execution of judgment against the enemy. How it happens, we don't know, but we just praise God in those situations that we know that affects the enemy. It silences him, binds him up, and executes on him the written judgment. So intentionally praise God, because God is God, His word is sure, He is worthy of praise. And when you and I do that, the enemy is silenced. Let's praise Him. Father, we praise You. We glorify You. We exalt You, God. That no matter what we're going through, no matter what our circumstances and situation is, we praise you. Your promises are true. And we thank you that even as we praise you, the enemy is stopped. There's nothing more the enemy can do. We come out victorious. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.